I am Slick Nick. Welcome to a follow-up, a sequel of the video I recently made. We're going to check out the comment here I received on it. The video was called, Did You Know That I'm Over Half Hispanic and More Than a Third German? Well, someone left me a comment just now, Lan Wright had this to say, quote, What race do you then identify as? Self-questionnaire, census, etc. End quote. So that's a great question and a tricky one too. And really, it's going to be one that's up to the person how they self-identify. And just to be clear, I've got viewers outside the United States, and this probably seems like a very bizarre topic. And I've had a lot of people on my other channel, The Famous American, which largely that's the content of that channel, is DNA tests, ethnic background, perceptions of culture, those sort of things. And people outside the United States will say, you Americans are so racist, you're so obsessed with race and ethnicity. Why is this? And here's the ultimate reason, as an outsider, that, that you would be in that situation. Here's what I would tell you. Your entire life, when you fill out a form, there's always a thing for you to self-identify your race and or ethnicity. So, and why is that? Well, whether it's the government or an employer, or whoever it is doing the survey, they want to do their best to keep from discriminating against ethnic minorities. So if you self-identify as one and you're up against a job and you're the only minority out of 20, in theory, the thing that they're encouraged to do is to choose the minority because that way they're giving equal opportunities to the minority instead of the ethnic majority. Now, some might say that seems a bit counterproductive, counterintuitive, maybe even racist against the majority. Some might say that, but that's how things are set up here in the United States. So your whole life, you're constantly filling out the form, checking the box. So how do I check out the box? Here's how. If there's only one option, and often there is, it'll where it has like white uh, Pacific Islander. What's funny is they don't have a separate one if you're Middle Eastern. So if you were, say you came from Iraq, there's not a box for you. I think that's interesting. They have quite arbitrary choices there. But it, the one for white says not Hispanic. It says that in parentheses next to it, which is really strange because what if you're both? They have a box for biracial, but if you're biracial as far as being Hispanic, there's not really one for that unless you want to check, check the biracial box, but there's also one for Hispanic. So you can't really win with that if you're in my situation where you definitely are Hispanic on one with one parent and, and, and not so much with the other. So how do you check that box? Well, for me, I just go ahead and choose Hispanic because to say white, not Hispanic is not being truthful. If I'm, I'm a little over half, like what, 53%. So my dad is a little bit Hispanic, but barely. So he counts as the white part. And then my mom's the Hispanic part. So when I fill out the form, I, I check Hispanic because that's the most honest answer I can give. Being 53% Hispanic, I'm more that than anything. So that makes the most sense to check the box. However, there's other times where it, dis it, it distinguishes between your race and your ethnic background. So in that case, I'll check white for race and I'll check uh, Hispanic for ethnic background because I can see that they are two different things. And here's what's funny. This is all in how a person self identifies. So it's not like anyone's checking this, but ultimately it's all inf what information you self-identify as in an effort to keep from being discriminated against. So that's how I do it. I say white Hispanic, but if it only gives me one option, basically combining race and ethnicity in one, I'll say, I'll say Hispanic, but you can't really win. And like I said, what if you're Middle Eastern? What if you're, what if you have parents that were born in, in Iraq? What if, what if you're Jewish? I mean, if you're Jewish, you're Middle Eastern, but there's not necessarily a box for Middle Eastern. And then most people perceive Jewish people as white anyway. Like Paul Rudd, he's Jewish, but he looks like just some, just the next white guy you'd see. So it's, it really is quite arbitrary, but it's something that we are exposed to every day as we fill out these forms. So there's the answer to your question. I would love to talk more about this. I think it's by default, kind of a fascinating conversation to have. Your comments belong right here.